for serious self-defense against man or beast, smart folks will reach for a firearm. Only guns give you that magic combination of standoff distance, deadly power, and pinpoint accuracy. Heading out into the backcountry or just making ready to defend your home and hearth from two-legged critters, you're always wise to get a gun and learn how to use it. But sometimes, guns just aren't a possibility. Maybe you don't have one. Maybe yours is broken, or maybe you can't own one where you live. Whatever the case, that doesn't mean you have to go without a lethal weapon. It's good to have options. And to help better acquaint you with those options, today I'm bringing you a list of 12 lethal weapons that don't need bullets to get the work done. We will dive right into the list. But before we take off, please take a moment to consider signing up to become a member of our channel. Our channel members have our undying gratitude for helping us make our content even better and reach an even wider audience. And to show our gratitude, members gain access to unlisted, private videos, downloadable guides, and a lot more good stuff we've got planned. I appreciate your consideration. Now, let's get on to the list. Number 12. Knives You can't talk about lethal weapons without talking about knives. Knives are one of mankind's oldest tools, and still one of our best. A good knife, be it a folder or a fixed blade, can help out with countless tasks around the home, homestead, or campsite, and then immediately be put to use as a ferocious close-quarters weapon. Even a small knife can inflict hideous penetrating and lacerating injuries. And though I will always advise you to get training with any weapon you're counting on for self-defense, even a completely untrained individual can use a knife to dreadful effect. Simply lead with the point and start making holes. For this reason, and because of the sheer ubiquity of knives and other edged or pointed implements, it's crucial that you learn how to employ them and, more importantly, how to protect yourself from them. Number 11. Machetes A step up from a humble knife a big step up is a machete. The weapon of choice for crazed slasher movie villains can also make a truly formidable defense weapon, as long as you've got room to swing it. And believe it or not, machetes are shockingly common tools in various parts of the country, especially in the deep south in Florida and along much of the Pacific Northwest. Anywhere that there is dense foliage that is difficult to cut down all at once or saw through, the machete is the lawn care tool to reach for. In practice, a machete works just like a short sword or boarding cutlass. It requires a little more finesse than a knife, and they aren't great for thrusting maneuvers. But for slashing and hacking, there is hardly anything better. Number 10. Axes Axes are another ancient tool of mankind that have served admirably as utilitarian implements and devastating weapons of war in equal measure. An axe, really any axe, is nothing but a sharpened wedge of steel, relying on the physics of a narrow leading edge that is backed by a fast-moving, heavy mass. A single strike from an axe is absolutely devastating, and even in the case of a glancing hit, the sheer mass of the weapon can inflict significant damage. But compared to a knife or machete, a missed swing will leave you wide open, and there's only really one way to meaningfully strike with one you won't be alternating between thrusts, slashes, and chops, and they are all but useless in a clinch. Number 9. Hatchets A full-sized axe is heavy and requires lots of room in your pack, and also lots of room to swing it. But if you like what an axe can do for you and want it in a smaller format, you need a hatchet. A hatchet is, very simply, just a smaller axe, but they come in just as many varieties. From a tiny hand axe or camp hatchet that is useful for chopping limbs and splitting them, to purpose-designed combat varieties like tomahawks, boarding axes, and more. Unlike axes, a hatchet is far more likely to have an additional tool on the pole opposite the cutting edge. Sometimes this is a flattened face or protruding hammerhead for pounding, and other times it is a vicious spike or curved beak for hooking and puncturing. Number 8. Spears Yet another ancient weapon, and one that persisted all the way through the medieval era, a spear is just a blade on the end of a stick, combining the lethality of the former with the reach of the latter. 
Spears are great because they are versatile and help keep you safe by keeping you at a distance from the person or critter that is trying to kill you. A quick thrust with a spear won't leave you open to attack, but can inflict a lethal wound all the same. Depending on the design of the spear, it can also be thrown to give you a decisive ranged attack. Probably the best thing about spears is the fact that they are easy to improvise. A sturdy pull or handle, a stout knife or jagged piece of scrap metal, and a roll of duct tape can produce a terrifying weapon in just a few minutes. Modern high quality hunting spears or reproduction versions of ancient varieties that are battle ready can be terrifyingly effective in trained hands. Number 7. Clubs When the going gets tough, the tough start smashing. Clubs come in countless forms, with the very simplest being a sturdy branch, and the most sophisticated being something like a mace with a flanged head that is designed to amplify the impact of a swing. You can turn almost anything into a club, and that's what makes them so versatile and so very dangerous. You can use a short length of fence post, a baseball bat, a piece of pipe with a plumbing elbow screwed onto the end, or anything else you can think of. And even though most folks don't think of blunt weapons as being particularly lethal, even a rudimentary club is more than capable of inflicting lethal internal injuries or cracking someone's skull. Number 6. Brass Knuckles One of the most controversial weapons in the US and elsewhere in the Western world is brass knuckles. Depending on who you ask, they are a great way to break your own fingers, or the most lethal and concealable close combat impact weapon you can get. The truth, of course, is somewhere in the middle. Properly fitted and properly used, brass knuckles can greatly increase the damage inflicted by a simple punch while also protecting your hands. They're also extremely easy to carry concealed and don surreptitiously prior to striking. The big downsides with brass knuckles are they give you no range advantage whatsoever compared to just throwing blows the old-fashioned way and the fact that they are one of the most restricted weapons from state to state. So make sure you check your state and municipal laws before you commit to owning or carrying them. We're halfway through our list of weapons that don't depend on bullets. If you're enjoying it and want to see other videos like it, go on and hit the like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and then you'll be sure you won't miss out. Number 5. Bows Bows, be they reproductions of ancient longbows or recurves, or the very best in compound bow technology available today are yet more ancient weapons that are showing no signs of slowing. All bows, no matter what kind, depend on the potential energy stored in the limbs of the bow and the string to launch a small light pointed arrow to very high velocity. Make no mistake, getting hit with an arrow in real life is nothing like the old sword and sandal movies. All bows can inflict horrendous wounds out to impressive distances in the hands of a skilled archer. Modern compound bows especially are truly frightening. The trick is that it takes a lot of practice to get good with them, especially when you are under pressure. But start practicing now and you'll always have a good standoff weapon you can depend on even when there's no more gunpowder. Number 4. Crossbows Crossbows function identically to bows, with one important difference. They use a trigger system to loose the arrow. This makes aiming much easier and it also greatly reduces the strength needed to load and keep the weapon at full draw. The crossbow itself takes care of that for you. Like modern bows, modern crossbows are terrifyingly powerful and surprisingly accurate, and they can give you big advantages in the form of a stock to help you steady it and even a sighting system in the form of a prism or red dot. This makes pushing the distance and achieving pinpoint accuracy much easier than with a traditional bow. The trade-off is that crossbows are bulkier and much slower to load because of the necessity to use your entire body to draw the string and cock them. Still, if you're already fluent with long guns, then learning to shoot a crossbow is an easy skill to add to your bag of tricks. Number 3. Slings You've heard the biblical tale of David vs Goliath, right? If you have, and if you remember it, you know that the young shepherd used a sling to bring down the giant Goliath. A sling is little more than a long cord or strip of fabric, or sometimes leather, with a pouch to hold a small missile, typically a stone, but sometimes a marble shot or something else. By whirling the sling around your head, tremendous velocity is imparted to the projectile when you release it. A skilled slinger with a good sling and the right ammunition can inflict a lethal wound 
even to a steel helmet. That is some real power. Again, this is a primitive weapon that requires considerable practice to use well, and room and time both to get a shot off, but they are so easy to carry and so versatile, they are well worth mastering. Number 2. Slingshots If you love the idea of a sling, but would prefer something more straightforward to use, reach for a slingshot. Far from the preferred toy of prankster boys, a good slingshot can be a terrifyingly powerful weapon capable of bringing down men and beasts. Whatever design they take, a slingshot consists of a body or fork with elastic bands that have an attached pouch for loading a small stone, marble, ball bearing or similar object as ammo. You know how it works from here. Hold it at arm's length, retract, take aim, then release. A good slingshot can be surprisingly accurate and powerful out to 20 yards or so. And you can even get a slingshot that can shoot a ball bearing so hard and so far, it will give you nightmares. Those are easily capable of inflicting lethal injury. Number 1. Atlatls The last lethal weapon on our list is the atlatl. Developed concurrently at various times and in various places throughout the ancient world, these weapons are basically a spear or dart thrower. They provide significant mechanical advantage to the wielder and provide an increase in range, velocity, and often accuracy compared to throwing by hand. Greater velocity, as always, translates into greater power with any kind of spear, dart, or javelin, and that means deeper penetration. Atlatls have been used successfully to hunt the largest animals and also in warfare. Today, but you might not believe it, they are making a comeback around the world, both as a historical curiosity and a legitimate hunting weapon being allowed for the hunting of deer and other game in bow seasons. And with that, we've reached the end of our list. Just because you don't have access to a gun or you run out of bullets, you can still take care of business and bring down dinner or stop an attacker if you've got the skill. But just like any other weapon, training and practice is what will make the difference. So don't wait! Let me know if you prefer a bow or a crossbow for a ranged lethal weapon and why. This is one discussion I always enjoy. Sound off in the comments. And before you go, do remember to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos here on All About Survival. Stay safe out there, keep your powder dry, and I will catch you in the next video.